thank you for tuning in. In a previous video, I talked about my 3D printed mini quad that I set up with Naze 32, and several of you had asked how I like Naze 32, how it's performing. And normally I've been flying in rate mode, which is the default mode, with no stabilization to do flips and rolls, but recently I've been turned on to horizon mode as suggested by many of you. And horizon mode is really cool because you get the default rate mode with a lot of agility, but combined with angle mode, which gives you the stabilization. So performing flips and rolls is super easy. It brings your quad back to level so you don't have to fight a lot of those counter movements. And it's a great way to practice before you try to go into more of an acro mode to do your flips and rolls. So by default, you'll notice we're in rate mode. They just call it arm mode. If I go to my middle switch position on the Tyrannus, I'm in angle mode, and then all the way up, I'm in horizon. Now let's go take a look at how these actually perform outside. I'm in rate mode, and it's a incredibly windy day. You can see I almost flipped and ran into those shrubs, but I spent a lot of time just trying to keep the quad stable and level. And you'll notice that was a little bit tighter flip, but still spending a lot of time on these flips and rolls trying to just counter any movement so that when I come back to level, I don't lose the quad. I've toggled into angle mode and this will give me self-leveling. You'll notice that no matter how hard I try to roll or pitch the sticks, you can't go beyond a 50 degree angle. It's still very responsive and just a good all around mode if you're getting up and running and you want self-leveling as well as a little bit of agility. I've toggled into horizon mode, which is sort of a hybrid between rate and angle mode. So you get self-leveling, but you also get very agile acrobatic flight. The other great thing about horizon mode is that it will allow you to start getting lower and lower altitude flips and rolls. Now I'm still working on that, but horizon mode has definitely given me a lot more confidence to try these closer to the ground. And my goal is to continue to work on these low altitude flips and rolls in horizon mode. Then I'll switch back to rate mode and hopefully get them dialed in there. So that's more or less horizon mode in a nutshell. Really enjoyed that. Thank you for everyone who suggested I give that a try. I still love to go into rate mode just because it makes me feel like I'm driving a stick shift versus a automatic. But if you're looking to practice and build confidence, I definitely recommend horizon mode. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.